Well, post collapse, whew, there's a lot of challenges that came up. I mean, before the collapse, there was like it was ridiculous. There was money everywhere. Everyone was careless. Everyone had no fear. It was a total different society. So now, after the crisis, you're facing a really a smaller market, you know, for for buying clothes, for example, because that's kind of a delicatessen, you know, to to buy design. So there's there's of course the sales, you know, got a, a bit harder, understandably, but but still it's it's coming back, so it's okay. But I would definitely say that's one of one of many challenges that came after the crisis. There were so many people mind washed by the luxurious lifestyle of businessmen and bankers. So they, they you know, are totally, f you know, fucked in the head because they just thought that everything was super fine and they didn't realize that all these bankers were just taking coke and, you know, stealing all the money and, and you know, f buying, the, you know, I'm not even going to start talking about what these bankers were doing. It's like so f brutally fucked up that that's why we're like, like in this fucking shit. <laughs> but... But so many people believed in it and they actually like made up reasons to debate for it and talk about like why they're building the dam and you say like but how can you justify destroying you know a thousand hectares of, of beautiful landscape to, to supply an aluminum factory with power which actually is going to contain around uh, you know, 80 workers or like, no, wait, okay, 300 workers, I don't know. And they're all going to get their salary. Okay, fine. You know, that's the money that they pr pretend is going to go into the the society of Iceland. It's, I mean, that's nothing. You could, you know, for the amount of money that they have to use to build the aluminum factory, they could have all these people on the same salary for a thousand years, you know, and it would never matter because they would never spend all this money on these salaries. So even though they would be paying like all their salary back into the tax system, it, would, it wouldn't still matter. Like they pay, they, you know, imagine an operation on the, at the size of building an aluminum factory followed up with a, with a dam. It's so many billions of, of revenue that's being thrown out of the window. To destroy nature and then the people were saying like you would be debating with them before the crisis now of course everyone has a slightly different opinion but but some people actually still debate for it and they, they I, I just don't I don't get it but they would say like yeah but there there you know there wasn't any real roads up there anyway you know and you're like so yeah so no one was going there anyway like to look at it it's like so what you know that doesn't matter you know even though you know can i kill a bum because he doesn't know anyone you know it's like <laughs> so the politicians obviously they they start thinking okay we should we should make more resources and well being a fucking idiot you think well why not you know build an aluminum plant, you know, a giant factory. So, you know, all these Icelandic, which all the Icelandic people are like over-educated because the school system like was, like the requirements were getting so high of, because everyone was getting education. So like you would have the teachers in the teaching like children mathematics, they were like, they had a master's degree in like, T ten academic <laughs> whatever and and all these p people you know have a real value of creating something because they they're smart they're happy and they're they're energetic and and you could do a lot of smart stuff with them but you can't let them work in a fucking aluminum factory like where can you even start thinking that that's gonna help save us you know, it's so stupid that I can't even put it into words.